Hey guys, we shall take a few more examples on finding step response. Uh, let h of n is equal to minus minus one power n. Uh, this this is one signal times u of n plus two minus u of n minus three. Okay, so how does this signal looks like? Uh, this is nothing but a rectangular pulse multiplied with this sequence. Uh, we shall plot this first. So what is u of n plus two minus u of n minus three look like? So nothing but it start from minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, right? And set two, correct? No. How is this? U of n plus two is what? U of n shifted left two time. We we'll start from minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, goes on. This is u of n plus two, right? And how does u of n minus three looks like? U of n shifted right three times. So this is zero, one, two. Three, four, five. This sum produces one. This sum produces one. Right. So this is minus one, minus two. If I subtract these two signals, what happens? One, mi one minus zero is one. One minus zero is one. At minus two, it is one. At minus one, it is one. At zero, it is one. At one, it is one. At two, it is one. At three, it it goes to zero. Right. One minus one is zero. One minus one zero, and this is zero forever. Right. So this is u of n plus two minus u of n minus three. So this rectangular signal. Is multiplied with minus one power n, right? And how does minus one power n looks like? When n equal to zero, minus one power zero is one. At n equal to zero, minus one power zero is one. At n equal to one, minus one power one is minus one. At n equal to two, minus one square is two. So every odd number of n, odd values of n, it is minus one. Every even values of n, it is one. Okay. So this is minus one. This is one. This is minus one. One. Minus one. One. And it goes forever. Right, so two, three, four, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So when this is multiplied with this, so one multiplied with this signal, so I get this signal for n varying from minus two to two, right? So what do we get as h of n? So h of n is nothing but from minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. So it is one minus one, one minus one. One. Okay. So this is a, a sketch of impulse response H of n. So what is the next step? So I just have to replace this n to k because we have to write in terms of k, right? So what is the formula? Uh, before that, uh, we don't have to write the formula. We can directly say that at say at n equal to uh, minus two, what is the running sum? It is one. At n equal to minus one, what is the running sum? It is Plus one minus one, it is zero, right? So at n equal to minus two, s of minus two is what? One. At n equal to minus one, at n equal to minus one, s of minus one is equal to what? One minus one, zero. At n equal to zero, what is the running sum? One minus one plus one, so it's equal to one. At n equal to one, so one minus one, one minus one, so it is zero. At n equal to two. So it is one minus one, one minus one, one. So these two, these two cancel out. I end up with one. So after two, s of three, s of four, uh, dot dot dot. So it remains one. Okay. So this is this is the step response. So s of n is equal to what? I can write like this: one comma zero comma one comma zero comma one comma one comma one dot dot dot. So where is my zero? So this is at n equal to zero. So this is the step response of the system. It's often something like this. Okay. So we'll take up one more. Now uh, this time we'll have h of n is equal to n times u of n. Okay. So how does this uh, sequence looks like? So at n equal to zero, it is zero times u of uh, one. It is zero. At n equal to one, one. At n equal to two, it is two. At n equal to three, it is three. At n equal to four, so it is four. It goes on. So one, two, three, four till infinity. It goes on. Okay. This is our n. This is h of n. 
fine so it does not take minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 why because i have u of n here right so if, now what do we do so solution so this is uh, uh, impulse response looks like if i try to plot this now have to replace n by k i'll do it that i'll do it here fine now uh, just to give you an idea if n is at 0 what is the running sum it is 0 right because everywhere from minus infinity till 0 it is 0 right if i put n equal to 1 here what is the running sum so this is 1 right because uh, uh, i have just one sample 1 here if i put n equal to 2 what is the running sum 2 plus 1 3 if i put n equal to 3 what is the running sum 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is 6 if i put it at here what is the running sum 4 plus 3 plus 3 so it is 10 and it goes on okay so this is how the running sum looks like and we have to put it general in a general form general form okay so what is this equation s of n is equal to what summation k varying from minus infinity to n h of k and s of n is equal to summation from where our signal starts it is 1 so k is equal to 1 to n depending upon where i keep that n and h of k if h of n is n times u of n what is h of k it is k times u of k but anyhow u of k it is 1 so i don't write u of k instead of you writing u of k i'll substitute it as 1 so this is k okay why this is not n because i have to write it in terms of k right this is h i this is h of k so i have to replace n by k fine so now i have to bring this lower limit to 0 how do we do that so take this to the left hand side k minus 1 and call it with the dummy variable m and write it in terms of k which is nothing but m minus 1 so in this summation wherever k is there you replace it by m minus 1 ok so s of n is equal to what summation m minus 1 k is m minus 1 is equal to 1 to m minus 1 so this is also k is equal to n and this is k and what is k k is m minus 1 so s of n is equal to summation so plus 1 minus 1 cancels out so if i take this n to the other side this n to the other side so it is n plus 1 so m varying from 0 to n plus 1 m minus 1 so s of n is equal to i so i can split this summation m varying from 0 to n plus 1 m okay i'm sorry if i take this minus 1 to the other side it is m plus 1 right Okay, so this is m plus 1. If I take this plus 1 to the other side, 1 minus 1, it is 0. This is m plus 1. Okay, summation m varying from 0 to this is m plus 1, this is m plus 1. So I did a mistake there. Okay, so m plus 1. So, so this summation goes to m and this summation goes to 1 also, right? So this plus one more summation, summation m varying from 0 to n plus 1, 1. Okay summation multiplied to m summation multiplied to 1 so s of n is equal to what is this n into n minus 1 by 2 right this is the standard result right summation m varying from 0 to n plus 1 m is nothing but which is plus 1 which is plus this plus 1 goes to the other side this is minus 1 now n minus 1 n minus 1 yes now it is clear so n minus 1 m is what n into n minus 1 by 2 so this is the standard result we have if say n is equal to 2 what is this actually 0 plus 1 right if n is equal to 5 what is this 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and it goes on right so it is nothing but that's what i have substituted here plus summation n varying from 0 to n 1 is what n minus 1 so I can write it as this entire thing minus 1 so what is this entire thing here n plus 1 minus 1 right so n plus 1 this entire thing is n minus 1 right so s of n is equal to what n into n minus 1 by 2 plus n so if I simplify this if I multiply numerator and denominator by 2 so s of n is what n into n minus 1 by 2 plus the whole thing by 2 so plus 2n right so this is nothing but n into n square minus n plus 2n by 2 so this is nothing but 2n plus n is n so n square plus n by 2 okay so we can cross circuit when when n equal to 1 what is the running sum 1 right 
So one square plus one it is two. Two by two is one. When n is when n equal when n equal to two, what is the running sum? Two plus one is three, right? So two square it is two to the four plus two uh, by two. This is nothing. Four plus two is six by two, which is equal to three. So two plus one is three. 